Industry is one of the biggest sources of global emissions, but technology to revolutionize our power sources could be within reach. A startup backed by Bill Gates says it's figured out how to harness the power of the sun to generate the temperatures needed for crucial industrial processes. Matt Egan joins me live. So this is a real interesting one, Matt, because I know other companies have really tried to do this and they failed. What has Heliogen done right here? Yeah, that's right. That's, you know, that's what makes this company so intriguing. As you mentioned, it's backed by Bill Gates and also backed by Patrick Soon Shang, who is the owner of the LA Times. And Heliogen says that they've figured out a way to get extreme heat from the sun above a thousand degrees Celsius. Just to put that in context, that's a, about a quarter of the temperature of what you'd find on the surface of the sun. And it's really important because that means that solar energy could actually be used in these industrial processes like making cement and glass and steel. Normally they use fossil fuels, but if they switched over to carbon-free sunlight, that could really reduce the carbon emissions. So I, I interviewed um, both uh, the CEO of this company, Bill Gross, and also Patrick Sunshung, and I asked them exactly how they were able to do this. Here's what they said. So essentially, uh, we take mirrors, and we have a mirror that is reflecting sunlight, but we have a thousand of them. So imagine the mirrors like this, all in a field, but all precisely tuned with software to reflect their solar beam to one single spot. Now, if you take one mirror and reflect light to a spot, it will get warm. But if you take a thousand mirrors and have them align exactly to a single point, you can achieve extremely, extremely high temperatures, again, above a thousand degrees. So our breakthrough was a technology to computer align all those mirrors using computer vision software, using automatic edge detection, using a whole bunch of sophisticated technologies. That's what our real breakthrough is. So Allison, there you have it. They're using artificial intelligence to try to solve the climate crisis. We need to keep a close eye on this company. They plan to rapidly scale out, prove that they can use this um, in making cement or other industrial processes. And you never know, we could see this company eventually going public.